Chirandandarupam Vasat Kundalandokuli Yes, 
Shitakeshu Bhaktir Jitatvam Luna Prema Tastam Shatha Vritti Vande Dinam Batani, 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
Kachajashtu Tarish the Shishi Madapai Charanada Vinda Bhakti Vidanta Swami Marashila Prabhupad Kijai Jayam Vishnupat Paramahamsa Privraj Gachajashtu Tarish the Shishi Madhila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Gosai Marsh Kijai Ananta Koti Vaishnavini Kijai Nama Charya Shlaharidas Thakur Kijai Prems Goho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Shivasari Gaur Bhakti Riniki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gokopina Shamakund Radhakund Giri Govardhan Ki Jai Sri Vrindavan Nam Ki Jai Sri Mayapur Navadiptam Ki Jai Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Jamuna Devi Ganga Devi Ki Jai Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai all glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Translation, please. To the Supreme Lord, somebody played the. Wait, oh, you go offer a flame. To the Supreme Lord, whose form is the embodiment of eternal existence, knowledge and bliss, whose shark-shaped earrings are swinging to and fro, who is beautifully shining in the divine realm of Gokula, who I, due to the offense of breaking the pot of yogurt that his mother was churning into butter, and then stealing the butter that was kept hanging from a swing is quickly running from the wooden grinding mortar in fear of Mother Yashoda, who, who has been caught from behind by her, who ran after him with greater speed. To that Supreme Lord, Sri Damodar, I offer my humble obeisances. Seeing the whipping stick in his mother's hand, he, crying, he is crying and rubbing his eyes again and again with his two lotus hands. His eyes are filled with fear, and the necklace of pearls around his neck, which is marked with three lines like a conch shell, is shaking because of his quick breathing due to crying. To the Supreme Lord Sri Damodar, whose belly is bound not with ropes, but with his mother's pure love, I offer my humble obeisances. By such childhood pastimes as this, he is drowning the inhabitants of Gokula in pools of ecstasy, and is revealing to those devotees who are absorbed in knowledge of his supreme majesty and opulence that he is only conquered by devotees whose pure love is imbued with intimacy 
and is free from all conceptions of awe and reverence. With great love, I again offer my obeisances to Lord Damodar hundreds and th hundreds of times. O Lord, although you are able to give all kinds of benedictions, I do not pray to you for the boon of impersonal liberation, nor the highest liberation of eternal life in Vaikuntha, nor any other kind of boon which may be obtained by executing the nine processes of bhakti. O Lord, I simply wish that this form of yours as Balagopal in Vrindavan may ever be manifest in my heart. For what is the use to me of any other boon besides this? O Lord, your lotus face, which is encircled by locks of soft black hair tinged with red, is kissed again and again by Mother Yashoda, and your lips are reddish like the bimba fruit. May this beautiful vision of your lotus face be ever manifest in my heart. Thousands and thousands of other benedictions are of no use to me. O Supreme Godhead, I offer my obeisances unto you. O Damodar, O Ananta, O Vishnu, O Master, O my Lord, be pleased upon me. By showering your glance of mercy upon me, deliver this poor, ignorant fool who is immersed in an ocean of worldly sorrows and become visible to my eyes. O Lord Damodar, just as the two sons of Kuvera, Manigriva and Nala Kuvera, were delivered from the curse of Narada and made into great devotees by you in your form as a baby tied with rope to a wooden grinding mortar. In the same way, please give to me your own prema bhakti. I only long for this and have no desire for any kind of liberation. O Lord Damodar, I first offer my obeisances to the brilliantly effulgent rope which binds your belly. I then offer my obeisances to your belly, which is the abode of the entire universe. I humbly bow down to your most beloved Srimati Radharani, and I offer all obeisances to you, the Supreme Lord, who displays unlimited pastimes. Shishi Radha Damanar Ki Jai. Shishi Kartik Vrat Ki Jai. Shri Giri Govardhan Ki Jai. Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Shri Shri Radha Madan Mohanji Ki Jai. Gaur Bhakta Vrindi Ki Jai. Gaur Premanande Hari Bo. On Saturday, just after the program, we'll be having a memorial uh, feast for Gauri. So everyone please come. This is a time to celebrate the life of Vaishnav who is with us and now has gone back to do more service somewhere else. It is a very auspicious time to uh, give blessings and um, appreciate what we, who we have in our midst, especially the great souls who are coming into the Sankirtan movement. And then um, when they're not here, we can appreciate how, how valuable they are. So we'll have a feast in Kirtan on Saturday, just after the morning program. And uh, we'll continue our uh, readings on fr Friday, because Thursday's already packed full from morning till night. So offer your, make sure you offer a lamp at home. Don't miss a day. If you don't have lamps, then um, find a devotee who has one and steal them. Uh, <laughs> no, don't do that. Somebody will make you some lamps. The, you, it's easy to make. You just need some ghee and some cotton. Anyway, you know more than I do. Okay, so lamps. Offer lamps tomorrow and sing your Dhammada Ashtakam and chant chapter 8 of Gita. It's good if you chant it right when you wake up in the morning. Do your chapter of Gita and then it's done for the day and it's always in your mind throughout the day and try to chant uh, as many rounds in succession without stopping as possible. That's the best. And uh, we'll see you f uh, Friday. Is it Friday morning and night or just Friday night? Friday evening at 5 o'clock? 5.30 p.m. right here on your Kartik station. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Don't think I don't appreciate it. Um, 
Anything else? Everyone okay? Yeah, we're just passing through. We're getting this nectar from from Srila Prabhupada, Shukadeva Goswami, direct from the Parampara, just flowing out. And Srila Prabhupada said when he first started listening to his guru, he didn't exactly understand everything, but he sat and listened. And we heard, learned tonight that just by submissive hearing, sitting and hearing, then one can attain all perfection in life. So thank you for dedicating your life to unpretentious devotional service and for giving it to so many other people, as many as possible. It's the guaranteed way of success, serving the Guru Parampara and giving selfless service is um, the doubtless and fearless way of success for all, especially led by the chanting of Hare Krishna. Dear Srila Prabhupada, dear Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Sri Panchatattva, Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan, Sri Sri Lakshmina Shringadev, if you so desire, please empower us to always think of you and chant your holy names and hear Srimad Bhagavatam. And please bless anyone who attended tonight's program, either here or online, or anyone who hears it later, to develop pure love for Krishna in their hearts. Om Tat Sat. Thank you for considering our request. Everyone who agrees with this prayer in part or in whole, please say Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna.